A camera is one of the most amazing things that we have in this world. Cameras can help us capture the moments that are special. But where did cameras come from? Well, let's start all the way from the beginning in the 11th century with Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham. Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham was a famous and great Muslim scientist, astronomer, philosopher, theologian, and mathematician. And what that all basically means is that he was a very, very smart with things related to math and science. Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham became pretty famous quickly because of his knowledge. He was living in Iraq. At that time, the caliph or the Egyptian leader was Al Hakim. There were floods every year in Egypt because of the Nile River. The scientist Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham gave an idea to the Egyptian leader to build a dam for the Nile River. If it was possible to build a dam, then there wouldn't be any more floods in Egypt. The Egyptian leader loved this idea and invited him to Egypt. Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham tried his best to make a dam for the Nile, but it was way too hard and he couldn't do it. The Egyptian leader became very mad and wanted to destroy him. But Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham came up with a plan. He pretended that he was crazy and had mental problems. The Egyptian leader decided to put Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham in house arrest for 10 years instead of destroying him. What that means was that he couldn't leave his house at all in those 10 years. It was like a prison. But guess what? While he was in his prison, he did most of his famous works. He discovered a lot of new things about science. The things that he discovered changed the world. Many people call him the first real scientist or the father of science because of the things that he discovered. After he discovered things about how we see and light, he wrote the famous book Kitab al Manadir, which basically means the book of light and sight. He used all of that knowledge to create the first camera obscura. Now, you may ask, what is the camera obscura? A camera obscura is when there is a dark box with a small hole. Whatever is in front of the hole is shown on the inside of the box. This concept is put into a camera and that allows us to take a picture. The camera obscura is a very important discovery for our present day camera. Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham was the first person who made the great invention of the camera obscura. Later, people used his great invention to make the camera that we have today. Without the camera obscura discovery, we wouldn't have cameras. In fact, we wouldn't have a lot of things if Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham didn't share his knowledge. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have films, telescopes, glasses, microscopes, and a lot more other things. Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham was a true great Muslim hero whose invention made a difference in this world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward Al Hasan ibn Al Haytham for his great invention and give him the highest place in Jannah. Amen. And next time, when you use a camera, don't forget that it was because of our great Muslim brother. Also, please let us know how you feel about our Muslim Hero series. If you have any other ideas or other heroes, please let us know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos with all of your friends and family. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum.